Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about my newborn must-haves or your baby. So getting straight into it, first is the Halo Bassinet Swivel Sleeper. If you don't know what it is, it's basically a bassinet and it can swivel over your bed and then back over. So when you have just given birth, you don't really want to be getting up and getting down, especially if you have had a C-section. Being able to bring your baby right over to where you are pick them up, put them back, and then sort of push them back over to off the bed. It's amazing. It came in handy every, every single night. I used it every night until uh, we transitioned her into the crib. Um, the next is a sound machine. This one was mentioned in the class that we took, and she sleeps so well with it. It just helps them think about when they were in the womb you know lots of lots of background noise it just really helps her sleep it also drowns out any loud noises that could potentially wake her up so i can still do things around the house without thinking that i am going to wake her up because she has that that sort of drowns out those noises and i will link everything i'm mentioning down below but the sound machine we got was from amazon it had amazing reviews and we take it everywhere we go next i want to mention well what i just mentioned was the newborn sleep class so we took well i took the taking care of babies sleep classes um i took the newborn one and the three to four month one and when she turns five months old i will be taking the five month class as well because they have been just incredibly helpful and yes i definitely couldn't recommend those enough as well plus you only really need to buy it for baby number one and then the downloaded pdfs you can then just refer back to when you have your second baby or third baby. I actually bought the sleep class when Ava was seven weeks old and started implementing it straight away. Um, but I had actually wished that I had bought it while I was pregnant. So going into it, I knew all of those tips before she even arrived. Next is a swaddle. So Ava, when she was born, we used to use swaddle blankets. The Aiden and I muslin swaddle blankets and we should just swaddle those in her however she would get out of those so easily and they were also kind of hard to get nice and tight so that she felt like snug and then i bought the swaddle me swaddle which is basically the same thing you put their feet in and then you strap them like this and it has velcro so it's a lot harder for them to get out of and much much easier to put on that product definitely saved us at night she was then starting to sleep longer stretches at night because she wouldn't be getting one arm out and then the other arm out and like waking herself up um, the next product is the docker tot um it's basically a lounger it's not supposed to be used for baby sleep it's supposed to just be somewhere where you can put your baby and you know they'll be safe but yeah we used to use the docker tot when she was a newborn putting her in the bassinet nest she used to just move around because it was quite a lot of space since she was a small baby. So we put it in the Halo Bassinet and that just helped so much. I don't recommend it because it's not approved for baby sleep and all that stuff. So you do what you will with your own child. But it worked for us and she was only in it for probably a month and a half. And then I transitioned her out of it and now she sleeps in her crib. Next, um, the baby camera we use is the Lollipop baby camera it's just amazing um traditional baby monitors you know you sit on a shelf and then you have like an actual monitor um but this one is in the shape of a lollipop hence its name and you just you can it comes with a wall attachment so you can mount it onto the wall or you can sit it on a shelf or you can actually strap it to the crib which is what we do and you just download the app and it you can just view your baby from your app from your iphone anywhere where you want to download that app basically and you can also download it on multiple devices which is super useful so i have it on my phone atakan has it on his phone so even when he's at work if he wants to see her in her crib while she's sleeping he can it also has crying detection so when she cries it, you get a notification on your phone so even if you don't have the app actually open on your phone like right now i don't have the app open but if she cries i'll get a notification saying she's crying and then i can open the app and actually check on her which is <laughs> extremely useful so next clothing wise so going into this i knew i didn't want to spend so much money or buy huge amounts of baby clothes because they just grow out of them so fast in the first year of their life. She was literally in newborn clothes for a month and then she was out of them and into three month clothes and now she's pretty much out of those as well. The brand that I do use all the time is Carter's. So Carter's do like packs of onesies, which is what Ava 
basically lives in. They are soft, they are not expensive, they're cute, like they work so well for her and for me. Next product I want to mention is the bath, the aqua scale, I'm pretty sure it's called, but it's the bath that actually has a scale built in so you can see how much a baby weighs, which is really nice because right now Ava has an appointment basically every two months and I want to see how much she weighs. I don't want to wait two months to see how much my baby weighs. So every time she has a bath, you put it on and you can you can see how much she weighs. And I love that feature. And the bath is just super easy. It also will tell you the temperature of the water. So basically, I put her bath in our bath and just fill it up from the taps on the bath. It also uses less water. So instead of using one of those sort of bath seats that you put in the bath and you still have to fill up the whole bath, this uses much, much less water because she's contained in a small space. Yeah, I highly recommend that bath. The next thing that Ava uses every single day is the Skip and Hop play mat, and that's just one of those mats that you put on the floor that has the toys that sort of go above it. As a newborn, she didn't really care because, you know, newborns aren't really sure about what's going on, but as she got older, she was looking at the toys and we did tummy time on the mat and the amount of times that I have had to wash that mat just because she's on it all the time. Basically, when she's awake, she's on that mat. It's something that she uses every day. And these items are stuff that I used every day and that's why I'm saying it's our baby essentials. There is lots and lots of play mats on the market, so it doesn't have to be that one in particular, but that is the one we chose because I didn't want to buy, this might sound stupid, but I didn't want to buy like ugly stuff for her <laughs> because then it wouldn't like match our house you know those super like bright colored things mm. anyway I know babies love them but this one was sort of it was sort of more neutral but still cute and still effective and yeah she loves it anyway on to the next product so we got gifted a Tommy TP sterilizer for we had her by one of our friends and I didn't think I'd use a sterilizer because I didn't I wasn't using bottles and I wasn't using dummies. However, both those things I am now using. So the sterilizer has definitely come in handy. It's just a really good way to know that your baby's items that they put in their mouth or that they're chewing on or holding are sterilized, germ-free. If you are using dummies, I highly recommend getting a sterilizer or if you are using bottles, yeah, it's much easier than filling up a whole pot of water um, with boiling water and sitting them in it. This. You just put your items in it, add a little bit of water into the bottom of it, and it's a, I think they call it a steam sterilizer because it uses steam instead of like UV. But yeah, and then you just turn it on, and I think it's done in about five minutes, and then you just take the lid off um, to let the items cool because they obviously are very, very hot. Um, but if you keep the lid on, they will stay sterile for 24 hours. I wanna talk about her stroller now. So we have the Maxi Cozy Zelia. I still don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Zelia Stroller. I did a video unboxing about it. I will link that below. And I absolutely love it. It is so easy. It's the one with the infant car seat and the bassinet sort of attachment. So I have the car seat base always attached to my car. And then I just, well for right now because she falls asleep in the car and she's still at that age where I will just take her out in the car seat. So I unclick the car seat from the car and just click it right in into the stroller. And then off we go and then click her back into the car and it's incredibly easy. It's also not bad to look at, you know, it's, it's, it's a pretty good looking stroller and it did not break the bank. Some strollers these days are incredibly expensive. This one I think is 400 and I got it for 300, I'm pretty, pretty sure. And now that she's starting to be awake more and now that she can support her head, we will be using the actual like stroller seat instead of the car seat and talking of baby travel if i want to wear her on my body i use the baby beyond carrier and she was always facing inwards when she was a newborn but like i said now that she can support her neck she can now face outwards which she loves <laughs> she loves being in it uh, it has like a cross which goes over your back it's super super supportive and doesn't hurt your back it's also incredibly easy instead of using a wrap which, you know, you put over, you, you do all this stuff. I don't even know how to do it because I've never used one. Um, this one, you just put the back straps on and then you click the front part on, put your baby in and then strap it closed and that's it. It's comfortable. It's only two pieces. It's adjustable. So it has straps on the side that you can loosen or pull tighter depending on who's wearing it. And last but not least is a baby tracking app. So 
the one that I use is called Baby Nursing and you can basically track all of their feeds, sleep, measurements, if you are pumping, um, nappies, medication, doctor's visits, vaccinations, solids, which I will be starting soon and will be tracking on here. But I use this every single day. I track all of her feeds. So if I go on to bottles, you can see all of her bottles. Sorry for the reflection, but all of her bottles for the month of December so far. And then I can go back and see November's, October's, September's. And I'll continue to do this probably until she's six months maybe until I feel like it's necessary and I don't really need to track it but now you know if her pediatrician is asking how much she's eating how many bottles a day or what she's eating then I can just go back on here and I have it all there um but I do put her measurements in because when you put her weight her height and her head size it'll actually put it in a graph for you so you can see um how she's going and it'll tell you what percentile that measurement is in which is amazing and for the nursing part of it, it has a timer, so you can just start the timer, which I used um, when I first gave birth to her. And yep, her vaccinations, I can see when she's due a vaccination, and I can go back to the ones that she's already had and have a look at those, which ones are upcoming um, until 24 plus months, basically. Um, so yeah, I definitely couldn't recommend that app enough. Okay, so I just got a notification from the baby, um, the lollipop camera, so I am going to go grab Ava. Somebody just woke up from a two hour nap. <sighs> I love those naps. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's a bright light, huh? Um, but like I was saying about the Carter's onesies, that is what she is in right now. <laughs> and she loves them. But yeah, I think that is all the products that I had written down to mention in this video. So if you liked this video or you found it useful in any way, then give me a like or give Ava a like. <laughs> and oh, she's so cute. And subscribe to my channel for more baby videos if you want to. Yeah, so I will see you in my next video.